I want to bring in another life changer, Jill Pollock. She's a decluttering expert, host of HGTV Canada series, Consumed, and she's here to help. Please welcome Jill Pollock. Welcome back. I'm here with organizational expert Jill Pollock. Welcome to the show, Jill. Thanks for Thanks having for me. Thanks for being here. Oh I my appreciate God. it. Love Good to meet you. you. And you. Could your house be making you fat? I sent organizational expert Jill Pollock to investigate one curious audience member's home. Hi, Melissa. I'm Jill. Hi. So let's see the fridge. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is a very well stocked fridge. <laughs> Ready to toss? Here we go. This is a UFO. Oh. An unidentified fridge object. Think of me like a personal trainer for the home and often. Your bathroom should be a peaceful place, not a bottle graveyard. And you know it's a great space-saving device? Multi-purpose items like this. That takes the place of both of these. Here's an advanced tip take and leave the top off so the kids will actually put the toys away themselves. We need to do something about this. If you don't take care of the things you have to do, you'll never be able to enjoy the things you want to do. Try picking one time every day to do paperwork when there are few distractions. Make a rule to let all calls go to voicemail until you've completed your task. I decided that Janet needed an expert, so I sent in professional organizer Jill Pollock to help her out. This is how it went. All right, so Janet, this is your craft room. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you a three-step process that anyone can do. Yep. First, you wanna assess what you have. Purge what you don't want, and organize what you have. So we're gonna get rid of some things that we can just eyeball and know that we don't want in. What's the first rule okay, making this fat? so the kitchen, obviously, that's where you keep your food. In Melissa's case, her fridge was literally overflowing with food. And you know, a bulging refrigerator can mean- Oh, look at that. A bulging waistline. As you can <laughs> see here, you can't even see, let alone get to the healthy choices. So, uh, you know, and she had a lot of, look down there, she had a lot of leftovers mm. that were sort of old and had gone bad. So what I recommend is put your leftovers in nice clean plastic containers, label them, date them. That way you don't have a bunch of Petri dishes growing in your fridge. Muffin tins, I don't know, I don't make muffins very often. They're just sitting in my kitchen. That's but shocking. <sighs> I'm busy organizing. I'm organizing your sock drawer. I know. My mother, believe me, my mother's never touched her muffin tin. <laughs> Okay. You're my a mother, muffin, baby. My mother. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to look at the whole house and we're going to pick three boxes, oh, three categories, okay? okay? Keep, donate, and toss. And we are going to put 75% in the donate and toss. And we do a lot of donating too. Keeping only 25% of your stuff because you know what? It's like being extremely overweight and me saying, I'm, we're just going to lose 20 pounds. That's not going to work. You guys are morbidly obese in your home. You see a space and you stuff it in there. <laughs> Whoa! Jackpot! You smuggled Australian sand into this country? This is 30 years of squirreling away. Ding dong. <laughs> Time's up. Okay, and you want to keep things that are this special? Yes. Okay, get rid of it? Yes. Okay. Big special? Yes. Big special? Yes. Big special? Yes. Big special. Okay, you filled up this box. I think you did a good job getting rid of stuff. For the magic of television, I can show you what Jill was able to do with the family after they left here. Take a look at this. You're gonna wanna see this, this is nice. And I'll see you next time. Looks like we have some work to do today. Today we are getting a full clean out of our house. I like the t-shirt, you ready you. for this? I'm ready. That is filthy. Look at that, that is literally raining dirt. You right. said your house wasn't dirty, right. but it is. This is a reality check. A reality. You know, this is your chance to make a clean sweep. We're gonna start fresh today. One, two, three, clean it up! The torture, the horror of it all. I'm here now and I want good behavior, okay? This has gotten serious. How do I feel about collections? I understand the collecting need. I think that sometimes collecting gets out of hand and I also think that when you say like, mm, I like polar bears, then people go, oh, she collects polar bears. So every gift that you get is a polar bear. And then you're like, oh, now I'm a polar bear collector of po all kinds of polar bear statues. So I think it's a slippery slope, honestly.